Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 31st of January. Hit, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm on daily lead code challenge, whatever. Uh, but also, uh, those of you who celebrate, happy Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, wherever you happen to be. Uh, I know it's not quite now. Um, I'll say it again tomorrow when it actually is, but oh, you know, depending on your time zone and stuff like that. But hope you're celebrating and hope you're just having a good week. Anyway, today's farm is the richest customer of wealth. Hopefully, you know, uh, we'll accumulate some wealth again. This one has been kind of tricky on the markets, but we'll see. Okay, so given an M by N grid accounts, I sub J, the amount of money I customer have in the J bank, return to wealth that the richest okay so you just have to sum up the um the thing uh okay so i and j is i in the j bank so you literally just sum up the rows right and then you max of it you could probably do it so i mean okay so clearly you can do it in, a, in two for loops i'm gonna see if i could do it in a one liner so that's that's kind of a a, a fun constraint i have for myself sometimes when when you know i guess this is supposed to be easy but um yeah, just to kind of, you know, challenge myself a little bit sometimes. So, okay, so let's see if I could do a one-liner. Hopefully, no one has any big issue with this one. If, ooh, yikes. if there is, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to enter it as best as I can. Uh, but, yeah, okay, so let's say for each row, for each row, or, mm, I mean, I was going to say row is fine, but each customer in accounts, and then you want to sum customer. Uh, the naming is a little bit awkward, actually. Maybe that? Because it counts is a little bit weird, and that is, eh, I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. It's The naming is also a little bit weird. And then we want the max of the, over the, this thing, right? So I think this is it, isn't it? Let's give it a spin, see if I'm right. Uh, that looks okay for that test case, so let's try again. Well, you know, more test cases looks good. So let's give it a submit. I got it right two years ago now almost. Nah, maybe not. Uh, but still, yeah, 671 days and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's not as fast as the other ones, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, don't really worry about it. But yeah, as you can, this is linear time, constant space because all we do is, yeah, because because we only have, we don't really have many wearables. I mean, there are some accelerated wearables that are kind, mm, I should, I think they should be constant. Um, though technically, I guess it is O of N, where N is the number of accounts, because I think this generates, um, this generate, no, I mean, it should generate an iterator. There is some nuance there in a, in a difference, but yeah, I think it generates an iterator. But then I think the max, Hmm. I, I do want, I actually don't know if max takes an elevator or list. So that actually, because if you have to collapse, I call it collapse, but like if you have to convert an elevator to a list, then it, it is takes linear space. Um, otherwise it is, um, and in this case, linear is N times M, just to be clear, because that's the size of the input. So it, it will take linear time anyway, because it, you need to read every account, right? So it's going to be linear time. But I'm just trying to figure out, uh, maybe a little bit, the nuances of O of N, which is O of accounts, space versus O of one space. And that is, this is one of those things that really depends on the implementation of these things and whether Max takes an iterator, for example, or a list or something like that, right? Um, or like if you, for example, if you're well-versed in, say, functional programming, if you're well-versed in functional programming, then... And you can imagine, you know, you do a dot map or something. Um, and in this case, the ma the max would be the reduction and the sum would be the map. Uh, a map over another reduction, right? So in a sense, it's like a map reduce, reduce. But but in that sense, um, that also could depend on, you know, if, you, if you do it in parallel, uh, uh, there's a rabbit hole you're going to go down. But yeah, if you do it in that kind of map reduce, it can be uh, in parallel. But uh, so these are things that, I don't know, maybe if this is all I have on an interview, that's what I would talk about for fun, just see what's up. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think 
about this problem. I think that's all I have. I'm, I'm just curious what the hints are. Wow, that's a hint, really? Calculate the wealth of each customer when it, to get the richest customer. That's a hint. Second one. Fine. I was going to say, it's the second hint. Find the maximum element. Okay, fine. I was just curious what hint can, you know, people can give for this one. And yeah. Okay. That's all I have for today. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. But also, beyond that, um, you know, stay good, stay healthy, to uh, good mental health. Have a great m rest of the week. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.